What's up, Algebra 1 Part A Modified? This is the uh, video for this week's test. That'd be the October 22nd to the uh, 26th. So the test is on the 26th, which probably tomorrow if you're watching this right now. Uh, the name of the original paper that you should be getting these review questions wa uh, is, I think, entitled Inequalities Test Remix. So I thought I'd do some of the questions at the end of the section. Probably didn't get to them in class. We did work on them in class, but if you didn't get to them, this should give you a basic idea of the type of questions that you're going to see on your uh, test on Friday, except the test on Friday has multiple choice questions. Anyway, video hopefully won't be terribly long and all not all that difficult to get correct anyway, as long as you follow the rules. So I've got this question. First thing I want to do, of course, is draw my line. Then I need to uh, look for Baby Goes Bathroom. There's not any here. Then I'm going to clean my room. I do have like terms on the same side over here. So 2 plus 6 gives me 8. Bring down my negative 5x. Then it's sort of like pork chops and applesauce, so I'm going to move my 5x over or get rid of it on the right side by adding 5x. These cancel, and so do these. So what I'm left with is 8 and 8. I'm going to bring down my inequality because I haven't done anything to make me flip it over. It says 8 is greater than 8. Well, 8 can't be greater than 8, so this would be a statement that is a lie. And thus my answer is no solution. There will be a couple, uh, or I think a few, anyway, no solution, all real numbers questions on tomorrow's test or on Friday's test, whatever day you happen to be watching this. Um, let's look at another one. Number 26 is the one I'm going to go to next. And by the way, just to show that answer is no solution, there it is. So this is number 26. We have in this question or statement. I'm hopefully going to increase the size of the pen just a little bit so it's not so small. My handwriting is lousy enough anyway. I try to hide it a little bit. There you go. That's a little better. Um, now, for this question, we have an or question, which means we're going to have uh, compound inequality. So I've got this thing going for me right here. Now all I need to do is solve both inequalities separately and then come back to make one final combination graph for both. So I'm going to write the first one down. I'm going to write the second one down. We don't have to do any weird cat dog thing on this one because it's, uh, it has the or in the middle. It's just have to remember that they're separate. Now, I'm going to draw a line down the left side. I'm going to get rid of my plus 9x by subtracting 9x. We're at pork chops and applesauce already. These cancel. 10 minus x is x. Bring down plus 3. Bring down minus 8. I need to get rid of plus 3, so I'm going to subtract 3 x and negative 11. Now, this is not a division in the last step. It's just a subtraction. So I don't have to do anything weird with the inequality. Just bring it down. On the other side, I'm going to remove minus 4x by adding 4x because we're already at pork chops and applesauce. There's no baby goes bathroom here. There's no clean your room. There's uh, just straight to pork chops and applesauce. You can tell because we have x's on both sides and only two terms. Um, negative 3x plus 4x gives me 1x from here, I need to get rid of minus 8, so I'm plus 8. These cancel. Uh, negative 5 plus 8 is 3. There's no division or multiplication in the last step, so I just keep it. So x is greater than 3, x is less than negative 11. I just need to graph this. By the way, this is an OR statement. Um, so I'm going to go down to negative 11, which is in this general vicinity right here. I need to decide whether I need to fill it in or unfill. There's no line underneath, so I don't need to fill it in. And x is next to the little end, so I'm going to go to the left to show all numbers less than negative 11, because x is less than negative 11. On the other side, I have x at 3, so I'm going to go to 3, which is somewhere right in this general area. And then I'm going to look for x being next to the greater end, so x goes up to the right, right here. So this should match the final answer that's been given to me. And let's see if it does. Yes, that's exactly the match that I wanted it to be. So let's look at another one. The next one we're going to do is 29. Here it is. This is one of those cat dog things because I've got two inequalities. So I'm going to go ahead and use my highlight marker and highlight in this middle section. 
Then I'm going to make sure that I write down that part two times. Try to make this thing a little bit bigger. Is that too big? I'm trying to get my pen size nice. I'm just going to use this because there's a lot of stuff to write. So I'm going to write down the thing in the middle twice. So this would be the body of cat dog. Then I'm going to have one that shows the cat head, which is the part on the left, 2 plus 7x. Then I'm going to do the dog, which is less than or equal to 2 plus 4x. Now I can solve these here and here. I'm going to put the two lines in between just to remind myself that they're separate problems. On the left side, of, uh, on the left equation, I guess, I'm going to get rid of plus 10x. To do that, I'm going to subtract 10x. I like to move my x is over to the left side for some reason. I think it's easier to graph them that way, but you know, you don't have to. Bring down your 8. Now I need to get my get rid of plus 2. Remember, the 2 can't see this minus after it, so it's plus 2. To get rid of that, I subtract 2. 8 minus 2 is 6. Bring this down. Divide by negative 3 in the last step. Because I divided by a negative, I need to flip it over so it looks like this now, the inequality, I mean. 6 divided by negative 3 is negative 2, so I'm moving in the right direction. On the other side, I need to rid myself of plus 4x, so I'm going to subtract 4x. These cancel. 10 minus 4x is 6x. Um, I need to remove plus 8, so I need to subtract 8. I don't know why I started writing a 2 there. 2 minus 8 is negative 6. Last step, I'm going to divide by 6, so this is negative 1, bring down my x. This says that I do not need to flip it. So x is less than negative 1. So I'm going to graph them now. I'm going to go ahead and make a circle at negative 2. There is no uh, line underneath that inequality, so I don't need to fill it in. And also x is next to the big end, so x is greater. So x goes up just a little bit. I'm not going to make a huge amount. On the other end, x at negative 1, so I'm going to make a circle at negative 1. And then I need to fill that in because that inequality has a line underneath to show equals 2. And x is next to the little end, so I'm going to shade down. So I've got this really teeny tiny um, inequality answer in the last step. So the graph is quite small here. Make sure that's the right answer, and it is. And by the way, the way they want you to write the answer, or the way the answer choices will be shown to you, you should probably look at the graph, is just the, little, the smallest number on the left, the biggest number on the right, if x is in the middle. x is in the middle, so I need to say that um, I'm making a statement, so x is greater than, because if you look down here, x is greater than, and then x is less than or equal to negative 1. So that's what the answer choice will look like, but you can match the graphs much easier on the test on Friday. Number 31. I've only got two more to do. Shouldn't take me very long. In fact, I may just do 31. Let me see what the other one looks like. Yeah, I'm just going to do 31 and be done with it. I'm okay with that. So we've got one more to do. In this case, once again, I have the two inequalities right here. Circle that part. Um, so the middle part is the cat dog's body. So I'm going to use it twice. 10 plus 5n. On the other side, 10 plus 5n. Make cat. Make dog. Draw the line. 10 minus 10 is 0. Bring down 5 in here. Divide by 5. 0. n. Since it's divided by a negative, I do not need to flip it over, so n is greater than 0. That's part of it. Then I need to get rid of 10 on the left side of the second one. Let me put the two lines in between. Um, mark this out. Bring down 5n. 60 minus 10 is 50. Divide by 5. n. And 50 divided by 5 is, of course, 10. I do not need to flip it over. It's less than 10, um, greater than 0. So I'm going to go to 0. I'm going to make a circle right here. Because there's a line underneath that uh, inequality, I need to fill it in because 0 is part of the answer. And now I look that n is next to the greater n, so n goes, it goes up. On the other side, I go to 10. It's got a line underneath it, so I need to fill it in. n is next to the little n, so it's less. 
so I draw down. And remember, if you've got that point in the middle, your common inequality is an AND statement, or if it has the middle section here, which is, is another way of writing an AND statement, you're going to have the barbell. So that's all the sections. If you have any questions for the test tomorrow, please ask right before the test and not like complain later that you didn't understand, because that would be on you. So good luck.